Sacred Island of Norman, here, on France's Atlantic coast at first glance you might think that's not a bad road to drive. On wait a few hours and your opinion will change as the tide comes in and causes the entire route to vanish twice a day. This road is underwater and any car that must finds there, crossing is going. With it even if you time the tides just right, driving this road can be a challenge because it's wet and covered with seaweed which can make it as slippery as ice patio, palu, tahaki, road. Greece, over the 23.5 kilometers Greek road, the elevation changes almost 500 meters. This might not sound so bad to you right now, but throw in a lot of potholes, significantly tight twists and turns. Heavy truck, pedestrian and livestock traffic and the fact that there are very few of any guardrails. And you have one hell of a dangerous road, the icing on the cake for this particular route is that there are often no lines or markings, which means many nighttime travelers drive straight off the road into their death. Luxor, Al Dergada Road, Egypt. This stretch of road between the ancient city of Luxor and the Red Sea Resort city of Dergada is one which many will tell you to stay away from, but why you ask first? The road goes through some rather remote areas where a breakdown can mean big trouble depending on what time of day it is. Second, this area is known to be patrolled by bands of criminals and terrorists who generally strike at night. This has led many people to drive without their headlights on at night, resulting in a significant number of fatal head-on collisions. If you want to drive at night, buy some high-end night vision goggles. Please throw go Gorge Road. TAE-1, part of Taiwan's Highway No. 8, the Taroko Gorge Road is widely considered to be the country's deadliest stretch of roadway carved into and sometimes through the mountainous terrain. This road faces significant erosion and landslides thanks to heavy rain and earthquakes. It has made all the more challenging by the fact that the road is extremely narrow in spots and has numerous blind Corners which can be full on surprises, lose control, or get bumped by another car. There's a good bet you are plummeting down the side of the mountain and becoming the latest victim of this infamous stretch of road skippers. Canyon Road, New Zealand. When your rental insurance won't cover you for driving on a road, you know it must be dangerous located in southwest New Zealand Skippers Canyon Road has all the characteristics you'd expect of a dangerous route it is carved into the side of a mountain has very little into the way of safety features and barriers and is extremely narrow in fact this 16.5 mile stretch is so narrow that if two vehicles meet one will often have to back up for some distance to find a pass wide enough to let the other pass safely. House Emma Highway, the Philippines situated 2,000 meters above sea level. This road is deemed safest in the summer months of March and April. That's because over the rest of the year, heavy rainfalls, fog, rock, and mudslides can turn this route into a nightmare. Tourists brave the risks to take in the amazing views of the landscape. Unfortunately, the dangerous environment combined with the fact that tour buses often drive far too fast on this rather narrow stretch means that every year there are many crashes as vehicles hit one. Another are simply roll off the edge of the road and plummet down the mountainside Tiananmen Mountain Road. China 11 kilometers long and with an elevation change of 1,100 meters from start to finish this Chinese roadway is not for the faint of heart with 99 hairpin turns this road isn't narrow by the standard of other roads mentioned in this video but meeting an oncoming vehicle can make things a bit challenging there are barriers all along the route but too much speed are getting caught up in. The beauty of the surrounding mountains won't prevent you from going over the edge and taking a rather long fall to the bottom of your highway. Australia straight, flat, and well-maintained Australia's ear. Highway doesn't sound like it belongs on this list of dangerous roads. Do not be fooled. This 1675-kilometer long stretch of road goes through one of the most desolate and remote parts of Australia. Picture Mad Max only with far fewer bandits and more wombats, camels, and kangaroos. In fact, the road is so straight, flat, and featureless 
that motorists have a hard time paying attention or even staying awake. This has produced a significant number of crashes and collisions resulting in Australians giving the road the nickname Slaughter. Ali Karakor and Highway China to Pakistan, the world's highest paved international roadway, the Karakor and Highway cuts through the mountains and canyons that link China and Pakistan naturally being a mountainous route. This road is dangerous to begin with in heavy fog, sudden blizzards and flooding, and you have a terrifying drive. It doesn't end there, however, his bandits and terrorists are known. They camp out near certain sections of the road, always ready to strike an unsuspecting target. Even if you can handle all of this, the highway is so high above sea level that some drivers suffer from altitude sickness thanks to the thin air soji. La Paz, India, it truly is amazing. What some people will call a road, this 9.5 long stretch is situated 3.5 kilometers above sea level and links the cities of Lhaka and Kashmir. High winds and heavy snowfall make this route impassable. For long periods during the year, motorists are advised to use four-wheel drive, but the mud can become so thick after a rain that even the best vehicles get stuck even in perfect weather than narrow. Roads' lack of safety barriers and use by other large trucks and livestock mean the Shoji lap passes one road to stay clear of all right. So maybe after this video, we should all.